Daniel Dubois, born September 6, 1997, is a British professional boxer. He has held the International Boxing Federation IBF, interim heavyweight title since June 2024, having previously held the World Boxing Association WBA, heavyweight title regular version from 2022 to 2023. At regional level, he has held multiple heavyweight championships, including the British and Commonwealth titles from 2019 to 2020. As an amateur, he was a five-time national junior titlist and British champion. He currently holds a 95% knockout-to-win percentage. Amateur career His father took him to the boxing gym at the age of nine to stay out of trouble in South London. He trains at the Peacock Gym in Canning Town, working under Tony and Martin Bowers. Du Bois had around 75 amateur bouts. He won two English schoolboy titles, two junior ABAs plus the CYPs. Won the British seniors. He spent a year and a half as part of the GB Elite setup in Sheffield and boxed for England around a dozen times, competing at the European Youth Championships twice and winning gold medals at multi-nations in Tamar, Finland, and Brandenburg, Germany. He left the amateurs early with only a handful of senior amateur bouts. He was on the Great Britain Olympic team with the plan to compete at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, however he opted to turn professional instead, signing with boxing promoter Frank Warren of Queensbury Promotions. Professional Career Early Career Du Bois' first fight as a professional was a knockout win in the first 35 seconds of the first round against Marcus Kelly in April 2017. In his fourth fight, he knocked out Mauricio Berrigan, a late substitute, in the second round to win the vacant WBC youth heavyweight title. In October 2017, he knocked out AJ Carter in the first round to claim the Southern Area heavyweight title. He won the English heavyweight title in his eighth fight in June 2018, beating journeyman Tom Little by stoppage in. The fifth round, he won the WBO European title in March 2019, beating former WBO heavyweight title challenger Rosvan Kojanu in two rounds. Du Bois was taken the full distance for the first time by veteran Kevin Johnson in October 2018, winning on points after 10 rounds, and beat Richard Lardy in the fourth round in April 2019. In July 2019, he beat Nathan Gorman by knockout in the fifth round to improve his record to 12 wins, 11 by stoppage, and win the vacant British heavyweight title. Boxing journalist Steve Bunce said he fought like an old, seasoned bruiser, his feet flawless, his jab a stiff weapon inherited from relics of the ring. BBC boxing correspondent Mike Costello described him as one of the brightest prospects in the sport at the moment. In his next fight, Du Bois faced Ebenezer Teta. Du Bois blasted Teta out in the first round, while dropping him twice in the process. After that, Du Bois faced Japanese heavyweight Kyotaro Fujimoto. Fujimoto was overmatched from the beginning, fighting to survive from the opening bell. In the second round, Du Bois connected on a right hand that knocked out Fujimoto. On August 29, 2020, Du Bois had another dominant win, this time against Ricardo Snitters. Du Bois managed to drop his opponent three times in the first round. The first round would end up being the last that Snitters would survive, as the referee waved the fight off after Du Bois dropped his opponent for the fourth time. Rise up the ranks. Du Bois vs. Joyce. On November 28, 2020, Du Bois made the first defense of his British and Commonwealth titles, alongside his WBC Silver and WBO International titles, in a highly anticipated domestic matchup against Joe Joyce at the Church House in London, with the vacant European title also on the line. In a closely contested fight that had implications for future world title hopes, Du Bois was landing the harder and cleaner punches while Joyce stayed at range behind powerful jabs. The repeated accurate jabs from Joyce caused swelling to the left eye of Du Bois from the second round. In the tenth, after another hard jab landed on his now swollen shut eye, Du Bois went down on one knee, allowing the referee to count him out to suffer the first loss of his career. Following the fight, it was revealed that Du Bois had suffered a broken left orbital bone and nerve damage around the eye. Du Bois vs. Dinu After a layoff of over six months, Du Bois returned to the ring on June 5. 2021 to face Bogdan Dinu in Telford. 
Du Bois won the bout by second-round knockout, winning the vacant WBA interim heavyweight title in the process. The win also made him the mandatory challenger for the WBA regular title held by undefeated Trevor Bryan. Du Bois vs. Cusimano Du Bois made his U.S. debut on the undercard of Jake Paul vs. Tyron Woodley on August 29, 2021. He faced Joe Cusimano and prevailed via first-round technical knockout victory. In his post-fight interview, he expressed interest in challenging Trevor Bryan for his WBA regular title. WBA regular heavyweight champion Du Bois vs. Bryan On June 11, 2022, Du Bois defeated Trevor Bryan by knockout in the fourth round to become the WBA regular heavyweight champion in front of approximately 500 spectators at Casino Miami in Florida on a card promoted by Don King. Du Bois vs. Lorena Du Bois made the first defense of his WBA regular heavyweight title against Kevin Lorena on December 3, 2022, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, England on the undercard of Tyson Fury vs. Derek Kazora III. Although he was knocked down in the first round three times, he prevailed and won by third-round technical knockout. Du Bois vs. Usyk Main article, Alexander Usyk vs. Daniel Du Bois on August 26, 2023, Du Bois challenged unified heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk in Wrocław, Poland for Usyk's WBA, Super, IBF, WBO, IBO and the ring titles. While Usyk retained his titles via ninth-round stoppage, there was controversy surrounding the events of the fifth round. When Usyk dropped to the canvas following a punch from Du Bois that was controversially ruled a low blow by referee Luis Pabon. Accordingly, Usyk was given a maximum of five minutes to recover, but despite declaring he was ready to continue, Pabon urged Usyk to take more time out. Usyk ultimately used three minutes and 45 seconds before the fight resumed. Usyk forced Du Bois to take a knee in the eighth round and again in the ninth round, where he was counted out. According to CompuBox stats, Usyk had outlanded Du Bois in every round of the fight, landing 88 of 359 punches thrown, 24.5%, to Du Bois 47 of 290, 16.2%. Du Bois failed to land double digits in any round of the fight. Debate subsequently followed regarding the fifth-round low blow as many observers felt it should actually have been ruled a legal punch and thus potentially resulted in a KO victory for Du Bois. In his post-fight interview, Du Bois opined, I didn't think that was a low blow. I thought that landed, and I've been cheated out of victory tonight. However, Usyk's promoter Alex Krasiuk argued the belly button is the line. Anything low of that is a low blow. This argument was echoed by others including boxers Tony Bellew and Liam Smith. Post-title career Du Bois vs. Miller Du Bois fought Gerald Miller on December 23, 2023, on the undercard of Anthony Joshua vs. Otto Wallen at the Kingdom Arena in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, stopping him in the 10th round with only 10 seconds left. IBF Interim Heavyweight Champion Du Bois vs. Hergovic On April 15, 2024 it was confirmed that Du Bois would face IBF top-ranked contender Philip Hergovic in a title eliminator on the undercard of the undisputed light heavyweight bout between Artur Bederbiv and Dmitry Bivoel.In what was considered his biggest win to date, Du Bois defeated Hergovic via 8th round TKO, doctor's stoppage due to cuts. Personal Life Du Bois' father is from Granada. His younger sister Caroline Du Bois is also a boxer. She has represented Great Britain and in 2018 became the minus 60 kilograms European junior, world youth and youth Olympic champion.